Hi guys, so I'm going to start out by washing my hair with this Girl in Hair Moisturizing Sulfate Free Cleanser. It has tea tree and neem oil in it to prevent that itchy scalp that we sometimes get with our installs. And all their products are topped with these nozzles, which I love, so you can concentrate the product at your scalp. Then I'm going to take the Girl in Hair Nourishing Leave-In Conditioner, which has 200% more conditioning ingredients than any other conditioner. It also has shea oil and cocoa butter to penetrate and protect the scalp, and it also gives the hair greater manageability and softness. To seal the leave-in, I follow up with the Girl in Hair Protective Restoring Balm. This balm is made for daily use. It will fortify and protect dry and damaged hair while supporting growth. I also add a little cocoa butter for extra softness. Finally, I apply edge control to the roots of each section to prevent frizz and add neatness to the look. Then, you're going to start braiding your section. The tighter your braid, the closer to the root your faux lock will be. Once you get about an inch down, you're going to split the part in two and start two strand twisting. I mainly did this so my hair wouldn't hang too low in the back and come out of the shorter faux lock. Your part should be about the same size and width of the faux locks you're using. When I was done, I had about 50 to 60 twists. To get that inverted bob effect, you're going to need to separate your hair into three sections. The easiest way is to separate the front hair and the hair that hangs on your sides from the back. Then split the top section in two. I split my top section in two behind my ear because I wanted more length in the front. Make sure when making sections that you evenly divide your parts. Here's a quick freeze frame of the back so you can see how all your hair should hang to the back. To do this style, I use Bobbi Boss Bomba Full Lock 3 piece set in 8, 10, and 12 inches. They neatly divide the different lengths for an easy install. Total, I used about just under 2 packs, but if this is your first time, I would buy a third pack just for fixing mess ups. I went ahead and installed all the 8 inch full locks in the back so you can see how it should hang. Using a beauty supply store crochet hook, take one twist and the open hook and thread it through the base of the twist as close to the root as you can get. Attach the circular end of the faux lock to the hook, close the latch, and pull it through. Then pull the hook through the faux lock circle end. Attach a real hair twist to the hook, close the latch, and pull it through the faux lock. Once through, pull your twist and the faux lock away from each other to tighten the knot. Then you're going to unravel the faux lock with your fingers and wrap it around your twist. Be careful to only unravel it a little bit at a time because if you unravel too much, you may mess up the curl of the faux lock. When you're done, if it looks a little messy, just twist the faux lock in your fingers and it will snap back in place.
This is what the bob will look like with the 8 and 10 inch locks in with a couple of 12 inches. Here you can clearly see the difference between the 10 inch locks and the 12 inch locks. And this is what your end product should look like when you're done. I'm sorry I didn't get any footage of me after I installed the 12 inch. And this is what your inverted bob should look like when you're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys found this video helpful.